Welcome to Heathcote Electronics. We've already made two videos about controlling points with servo motors, but we thought in this one we'd explain what sort of switches you can use so that you can do extra things. As you will have seen from the other videos, this on-off switch controls the point's movement by the servo motor and the single servo control board. Uh, you could call it a single pole, single throw switch. Um, when the lever's in that position, it connects those two terminals together. When the lever's in the other position, those two terminals are disconnected. Now, a you could use this switch, which is a single pole double throw switch. That's got an extra terminal. When the lever is in this position, it connects the centre terminal to the bottom terminal. When the lever is in the other position, it connects the centre terminal to the top terminal. Imagine a line from the lever and it points to the two terminals which connect together. When you control the point, it would often be useful to have extra contacts. For example, you might want to control the signal or switch the frog, or have some sort of interlocked key in between the signals and the points. If you imagine two single pole double throw switches side by side, using the same lever which gives you a switch like this then you have one set of contacts which will control the point and the other set which will do the other job such as changing the signal well, a double pole double throw switch is exactly that two separate switches with one lever you can even get a four pole switch which is effectively got four single pole double throw switches all changed by the same lever. I hope you found this video useful. If there's any more information you'd like about switching with different sorts of switches then if you mention it in the comments I'll try and answer it.